Welcome to Cat the Minion YouTube channel. My name is Teresa, but you can call me Cat. This is a an astrological reading for around June of 2022, which is just an anchor. It's for whenever you find this, but I'm I'm reading this in mid June. I'm looking kind of at the sun and the moon interacting with each other. Um with the uh, two chunks of the moon in Cancer during June when it from the beginning of the month one at the end of the month and then uh, the Sun moving into Cancer on the summer solstice which I believe is the 21st um, this is for Aries and Gemini I was originally going to do opposite signs but I ended up just picking them up at random from the pile of these tags um, with my eyes closed so they're in pairs and that, that doesn't necessarily mean anything uh, or I should say there's no intended meaning from me behind that if it if it has a meaning for you then that's fine the spread that I'm doing is my yin-yang relationship check-in it's not just for romantic relationships but because it tends to skew that way I'm not gonna do a separate romantic thing this month um just take a breather from that if you want a separate romantic reading you feel free to get a um, personal reading I, I have different readings on sale throughout the month of june you have to check my social media for the for those um so this spread i have over here on this side because it's supposed to be sort of an 8-bit version of a double yin-yang or as an, like an opened up yin-yang um the blessed bee deck by lucy cavendish and then on this side the starseed oracle and i don't remember who that's by but it's like a it's kind of like a sequel to at least done by the same people as the work your light oracle but it's just the starseed oracle and uh in the sort of opposing center um, the bottom of the deck so I had to walk away from this for about a half an hour um, so I just banded these up and left the bottom of the deck single and these get flipped over well obviously they all get flipped over but the bottoms of the deck so um, is that it? I think that's about it so Aries and Gemini and if it's relevant to your situation, this could be one or like Aries, and this one could be Gemini. Um, it's also about dualarity. Dualarity? All right, dualarity. If you have two Larrys, uh, duality and polarity. So it's the masculine, the feminine, the light, the dark, the parent, the child, the sibling, the other sibling, the dog and the cat, the higher self, the material self, the inner child, the ego, whatever. It's it's any hot and cold, you know, hard and soft, cold and hot, whichever um, polarity slash duality situation you're looking at. But it does tend to heavily skew towards relationships, so it's either that or both or whatever take it as how how it makes the most sense for you try not to say resonate because I hear it way too much now and it's kind of ruined it for me it's like um, don't stop believing like I can't it's a good song but I can't stand it anymore because it's been overplayed that's how I feel about when people say if it resonates with you every time I hear resonates now I like grind my teeth a little bit even though it's a perfectly fine word um, overuse. So, yeah, however this reading makes the most sense for you is, and you, you'll be able to tell what's going on. Alright, so Aries and Gemini. I feel like Mercury is in Gemini right now, but that's probably wrong. I know Jupiter moved into Aries quite recently. 
So we'll look at these cards. So we have a blessing of the air. Again, this is already feeling like these other two readings, but we'll, we'll do better. Blessing of the air. We have a current air current pattern here. We have a bee trying to pollinate these flowers up here. Number two, that's giving me a little bit like Queen of Swords, but coming out of the High Priestess. But it's ultimately giving me like Two of Swords. She's just hanging out, thinking about stuff. Blessing of the Waters inverted, so four. So we have a doubling energy here. But the waters are murky. There's a bunch of rubbish in them. It was like a whole shipwreck washed up to shore, and now the drinking water's all befouled. This is a lot like these other readings. A blessing for the right words, 26. This has a hummingbird coming up to the flower for pollination. And the crossover card in the middle is Lost Lands. Are these even in focus? I guess that was pretty close. Soul Memories and Gifts. You've done this before. I was going to say, this is like a drowned world, and they got Madonna in the back of my head singing Substitute for Love. Um... This card and this card diagonally really go together. And I said shipwreck too. It's like, um. Oh, and this relates to something I said in one of the other readings. It's like when the waves recede and there's like 20 miles out, there's a city that got buried when the sea levels rose after the Ice Age. This is like ancient stuff being brought back up. Like I've got to think about it, I'm looking at it differently, and I'm trying to figure out how to talk about it. There's um, an, an emotional wound about this long lost time period. And I think one of the things I said, uh, one of the combinations for polarity I gave, I think when I did Pisces and Libra was um, you and the ancestors. So that could be going on here, but it could be um, a metaphor for something earlier in your life. Like a, like I evolved since I was in my, since I was like 20, if you're older than that. I evolved since I was 20. And this represents what my life was like then. And I'm totally a different person. I look at the pictures and I'm like, who's that? Or it could literally be like a past life or a parallel life, however you want to see that. So on this side, this is a mystical reading because of these oracle decks. You are not alone. Isolation, physical connection, and community. And I was saying um, parallel lives. This looks like one version of a person. And then through this like wormhole um, stargate here. In the upside down, we have another version of the person where they're wearing a different colored outfit, basically. It also looks like star cluster, like the birthplace, like a nebula. So there's like, it's nebulous, it's cloudy, but there's also something beginning to brew there. I mean, the polarity could also be you and another version of you. That's how it plays out. So we have the breath of the cosmos, and we've got this swirl pattern here, echoing this air over here. My will to thy will, micromanaging the universe, inverted. This looks like a similar character um, as this. It's weird, these are all feminine figures on here. That's not necessarily supposed to mean it's feminine energy, like a, a female person but it could do with the feminine energy of birthing and creation. Just these sort of right-brained activities. Like, um, I'm not analyzing stuff, I'm feeling my way through it. 
There's swirl patterns on here too, but I'll get to that in a second because I got to turn over this card. So we have inverted. I'm sorry, defenselessness, writing past wrongs, and uprooting. There's two people underground. This is like a past life that's been buried. It's like this card again over here. This is, I'm, I'm going back in to analyze it. And again, we see two, two bodies with stars in them facing off. Me and my soulmate, me and this other version of me. I'm sorry inverted. Sorry, not sorry. Or I'm being really defensive about it. This my will to thy will micromanaging the universe is like the magician inverted. I'm trying to pull a fast one on the universe. I want to make sure that what I want to happen is going to happen and I'm going to force everything in my power to make that happen. But this is what happens when you do that. Complete destruction of whatever your world is. There's sort of like vestigial people down here. I don't think it's I don't think it's actually supposed to be people, but there's shadows and shapes that make it look like there's two or three people down here. Which is possibly done on purpose. This one, it says a blessing for solace and hope, 41, with this very wintry energy, and there's a little bit of a swirl situation going on here, but especially right here. 41. It's like emperor and magician energy together, but it could also be the hierophant, or like a, a flipped version of a king, but here it's a feminine with horns coming out of her forehead, like the, it's, it's sort of like a layer, but it, uh, like a little slice between the third eye and the crown. It's like when, when you have like 15 chakras instead of seven or whatever it is, I feel like there's an extra one in there. Um, but again, I'm not quite sure what I'm talking about, so I probably shouldn't say that. But I feel like there's a little one between there that, that those horns are coming out of. It's like, um, somebody, um, somebody in one of my social media feeds said that they just watched Being John Malkovich. And I think in order to get into his head, they had to go to like floor 37 and a half. And that's where those horns are. It's like a half. It's been a long time since I've seen that. All I remember is like them singing like, Malkovich, Malkovich. Oh, that movie was fun. I don't even remember. It was really good though. I need to see it again. Um, so the, it's like a portal into the other world. It's kind of like if you dream that you're somebody else and then you really like... It's like a different version of you. This feels more like I've lost a partner. This feels more like I'm connecting with multiple versions of me. Like I owe it to myself. And it, it almost... Okay... Just make checking my time. This is like twin energy, and it could be relating to a twin flame situation. But what I'm seeing is like specifically a soul divided in two. And in a, in a higher realm, we are multi-dimensional, so we can, we can be like eight people at once. And what you can do is you can manifest as a pair, you know, one of them's masculine energy, the other one's feminine energy, and you go about your your multiple lives um, 
in these sort of romantic interludes because you you really want to be joined together again but and that's what's going on over here this is like a bunch of those like versions of you that split off from the higher one are just different copies of you in the other universes in the other times doing other stuff but you're always energetically connected stuff that you do in your life through quant like quantum entanglement basically which is what's happening over here affect the other person so if they do something horribly offensive in their life there's there what's going on down here is that it, it has some kind of effect on you when you go to clear out your karma you're like why do I feel like crap why am I sad you like I thought I did this already like why is this coming up again there's a thread connecting you right the quantum entanglement to the other copies of you are going through some phase where in order for all of you to upgrade their karma their dilemma has to be solved and it's like like I'm sorry for being you know the weakest person on the team I'm sorry I screwed it up for you guys when I switched teams in the middle of the game and scored some goals on our own goal you know like put on the other team's clothes it's like I'm sorry I micromanaged the universe and blew up the lab instead of following the step-by-step -step instructions and waning the appropriate time before adding the next ingredient and this is the connectivity there these this over here is being able to communicate to the these are like this is like taking half of a paper and making exact little cubes out of it so they're all uniform and the same this is like taking a the other half of the piece of paper and ripping it in diagonals so the pieces are you know in like different shapes so that the pieces are different like this is like this is like cubes this is like tangrams over here so in order to have some kind of completeness it's not it's it's like you're not really you don't really have to open a dialogue to yourself where you just have this automatic mirror connection where you can be like oh man I really screwed up there sorry self and then you can kind of like you just sort of like photocopy your energy field and mail it to them and then they can just like tape it onto themselves and and sort of meet that energy field until they're at the right level this one because it's the pieces are in different shapes you have like the the trapezoid has to learn how to talk to the small triangle which has to learn how to talk to the little square and the other two shapes or whatever until they can build back this unit so this is this is like this is about like harmonics matching vibrations and this is about actually communicating what what happened of learning to clear the water it's this is much more like detoxing an oil spill than it is um, you know rebuilding a busted lab it there it's like a there's more variables there's more pieces it's harder to 
it's harder to explain in terms of just perspective language conceptually what's going on to somebody else especially if there's emotional content on both sides because not only do you have to um, uh, not, it's, it's not di disarm the this fl these floodwaters but you also have to it's like um it's like um floodwaters where there's like sewage and dead bodies there isn't there's like a an emotional toxicity but also just this idea of clearing the air in general and being able to look at things from another perspective where it's not like you are the dead body you are the sewage it's this is what had happened that created this spillage and these are the the strategies in order to clean up those waters from that lifetime in order that you can pollinate your energy in your way and I can do the same in my way so that we're both have having this um, growth in our life so a much more challenging version of clearing up this multiplicity than where everyone has the same character stats on this side. Oh, that's so weird that how this is... Cause this is both like Gemini and Aries because Aries is like plant growth, like unfurling from one spot that's anchored. And Gemini is like, it's the duality, it's the twins. But it's also like healing. But there's like multiple sets here. And I, and I think, you know, in terms of this kind of, like the, this is sort of like, um, interpersonal relationships and intrapersonal relationships. I'm playing with myself over here, and here it's like, now I get to play well with others. And this is something that's happening at the same time. But the, the real thing is that whether your a sh your part of your over soul is shattered or part of your over soul is just diced the there's there's different methods of um dealing with entanglement across um the multi-dimensional space. All right, so I'm gonna leave that there. That was actually a little different than the other readings, but it started, oh man, it started off with the same air of water that was coming in. Sorry about that weird motion, my tripod is soggy. If you wanna get a personal reading, the list of readings, oh, come on. The list of readings is down below, but you can also see it on my on my uh, WordPress. Um, you can download the PDF, or you can just look at it on there. You can email me for that list. The um, where the sales are to find out like what's on sale. I mean, you could also email me, but you can also see on my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter those posts which is also where my photo version of card of the day is going to be. Um, and if you want a reading, you can always just email me anyway. So we get um, coloring books, dark poetry, merch and prints and actual art items here on Etsy. I do have sales on Etsy throughout June. They vary every few, every handful of days. Uh, if you use coupon code three star 17, 
you'll get 17% off a purchase of three or more items. Um, free shipping to USA and Etsy, and then I've got um, uh, shipping of certain items to 10 test countries. Um, so check that out. Um, if you found this interesting or useful or helpful in some way, consider donating energy exchange, tip jar, whatever you want to call that, PayPal Cash App, or Venmo. Um, I think that's it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment, check out my playlists tab, and stay groovy, and we'll see you later. Bye.